Ah, the interview process. Remember Lucas? Lucas searched through a hundred resumes and chose five applicants to meet. Now it's time for the interview. One by one, the applicants circulate and meet all the members of Lucas's team. Handshakes, conversations, questions, answers. When it's time to make the hiring decision, Lucas's team meets and each person starts to talk about what they liked and didn't like about each candidate. Wait just a second, what criteria are we using? Elliot wants someone who works quickly. Sarah wants a people person who clients will love. Jesse says they need a creative thinker. Martin just wants someone with experience. So what takes priority? Fortunately, they decided what was most important before the interview. Their talent profile has already outlined what they agreed someone needs to do to be successful in this position. Now a talent scorecard will help them measure each candidate against those objective guidelines. You don't want everyone having a different picture of what self-managed looks like. You want this. Each interviewer rates a candidate on the categories of a talent scorecard. When they're done, the team comes together to discuss where their ratings for each candidate are different and why. This focuses the conversation on whether the candidate can do what is needed to be successful. With a talent scorecard, Lucas's team will be able to make a confident hiring decision based on facts, not just gut feelings.